Hi everyone, in this problem we're being asked to find the derivative. So the formula we're going to need is the formula for the derivative with respect to x of the inverse hyperbolic cosine of x. So if you're taking this derivative, um, the formula that you can use is 1 over the square root of x squared minus 1. This is the formula uh, that you can use for a problem like this. So here we have to use the chain rule. So we'll take the derivative of the outside. So we'll use this formula, and then we'll leave the inside untouched, and then we'll multiply by the derivative of the inside. That's, that's the chain rule. So let's do it. So dy dx. So the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic cosine is going to be 1 over the square root of, now instead of x, it's secant x. So it's secant squared x minus 1. So this is the derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside, then times the derivative of the inside, which is the derivative of secant, which is secant x tangent x. All right, let's, go, let's keep going. So this is dy dx equals, so we have secant x tangent x over, and then secant squared minus 1, so what is that? We know that 1 plus tangent squared, okay, 1 plus tangent squared is equal to um, secant squared of x. And so that means that um, if you subtract 1 from both sides, tangent squared of x is equal to secant squared of x minus 1. This is actually the square root of tangent squared. This is equal to secant x, tangent x, and if we assume tangent is positive, this is just tangent x. These cancel, and so you just get secant x. Really nice answer. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck to you.